hi guys what's up and welcome back to my channel this is baby niger gist plug guys i'm so sorry i've been away for some days but i'm back to my channel and i'm super, super excited guys we have a lot to talk about okay just sit back and relax first of all groovy and fina hmm. these guys are giving us a lot of couple vibes wait till they happen this love they enter my eye so groovy made this post and said not trying to break the internet or anything still your favorite pink panther and baby boy of the season kajik so is here and fina responded in the comment section and said see my fave now i'm a big fan sir <laughs> and groovy responded to fina and said fave i'm not just your fan i'm your supporter ma with the love emoji <laughs> this love they carry me they go carry me they go yeah i don't know <laughs> these two persons are taking me to where i don't know if like i think they need more of this trip because huh since they went to that south africa it's been you know pda They've just been showing a lot of public display of affection um, unapologetically. <laughs> I love every bit of it. And fans are super, super excited. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Hey, someone said, God, I beg, go. What is in this South Africa hair? I've been a Pepsi the custom. This honeymoon is getting out of hand. Laugh. Somebody has said, This sheep, they enter my eye, yo, or more. Shipping is sweet. Who would have thought they, that one day we will experience such, my dear? Such is life and never say never. Somebody said, at this juncture, I'm confused. Whatever Groovy and Fina did on this trip, they should keep doing it. Please, Groovy and Fina, don't come back to Nigeria. If I'm in support. In fact, I am in support. I think they need more alone time. They need all the vacation vibe. They did like, you know, this stress-free life, stress-free from work, you know, from family, from the whole, you know, social media shenanigans, just you and your loved one. I'm loving it. And a lot of persons are super, super excited. And guys, people are now saying that, this one, Groovy is now saying that he's Fina's uh, fan. And Fina is saying that Groovy is, is a fave. Are you now trying to say that groove? Somebody now said, Oh, my, I don't understand again. No, Fina is now a groover, and groovy is a finition. God, please, where do we stand? Stand with both of them, <laughs> stand with both of them with your full chest. All right, Fina and groovy, they are an item. So, why not? If you don't want to be a finition alone, if you don't want to be a groover, join both, or even who should create a new. <laughs> stand page and call it maybe groovy you know i think there's something like that i love 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 this ship and it's so amazing fina and groovy whatever they gave you people in that south africa any dose of love they give you i beg don't stop taking it because myself i love every bit of it and away from that guys a lot has been happening you know, in this south africa is a lot of fun and there's a lot of pressure you know coming up also and guys i don't understand me for one oh i like finney i like finna a lot but finishes can be so toxic like it's just uncalled for just listen to this listen to this space my vote they call support now all my vote when i vote for the people now who go punish you I will go punish him and punish that vote in the name of Jesus. All the votes we finish on vote for the cooler way to enter that final. I will go punish him. Ungrateful idiot. Sorry for saying. I will go punish him. He go die. Idiot. Can you imagine? After we don't vote you, all the time we finish not the up. We will vote at the cooler. Say na bet. Say na. We don't say na fool because na instigator it be. But what what you man go do na? I just to vote the fool na enter. Now we vote and enter final zoo. As he enter final, I come the buga. As he come out, he don't he don't know he be papa. He don't know he don't know he be mama again. He don't know who 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 be who be their mama, their standard. Come they come they raise shoulder. Come in your one they raise shoulder. They cause a problem in head now. All my vote when I vote for the people now, I won't go punish you. 
Oh, go punish him and punish that vote in the name of Jesus. All the votes we finish on vote for the cooler way to enter that final. Oh, go go punish him. Ungrateful idiot. Oh, go go punish him. He go die. Idiot. Why on earth with anybody open their mouth to wish another person death? Why? For what? What has Adekule done wrong? This guy has just been on his own, you know, having good time with the housemates, being close to beauty. Why? What is wrong with that life? Why do Finish have a problem with it? You voted for him and so? Are you the only one that voted for somebody in the house? Did somebody vote for your faith too? What is going on? To just sort of saying horrible things, wishing the person dead. I don't understand. Do you expect Adekule to come and be licking Fina's leg or what? Or like I don't get. This guy is living his life, you know, low key without he's free from all the whole stress and trouble. He's not putting his mouth in any nonsense talk. He's just on his own, having his good time. So what did he do wrong? With the wish and death. Like really. Eh? How would people, human beings, just come together and say nonsense? All in the name of fan fans. You are the whole essence of this whole thing is just that these people are pissed. They are not happy that Adekunle is close to beauty because they think that they, look at I'm even tired, I don't even know what to say. Fina and beauty. Now now even they cause the whole wahala. These girls don't even really have like any serious issue now now they escalate and now now they fight now now they cause the whole quarry anybody that is close to beauty you people will pick on the person amaka was close to beauty you call the friendship fake Donny was close to beauty he don't say don't you want to use uh, beauty shine adekunle is close to beauty don't mean say beauty won't you as in like what is going on finish on you have to hate this beauty focus on your faith what did the guy even do wrong to you guys? Eh? Are they couldn't wait just a living life? Free, free from all the whole drama. You can't they drag him again. They wish and death. I bet Mona changed. I think some persons really need therapies. Because all this hate, all in the name of fan base, is is becoming is becoming too too much. What you bought you? It's too much. If they wish person death. But you go they pray may god give you life and the funny thing is even the person was even cursing in the name of jesus can you imagine <laughs> hey god now nasabio if you don't leave all this hate and live your life you will keep wallowing in a lot of pain and headache hey do you know the headache you you know they tire <laughs> and speaking about fans now i love what bella did she said something on her life. Just listen to it. You know, you guys have this ha habit of asking people about other people on their life. I think I feel like it's very disrespectful, uh, which is what you're just saying now, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think you guys should be doing that. If you're on my life, then let's talk about me. Stop asking me about people. So, we should, also, we should not ask about Shakes, Finn, and Grivy or Chomzy. You can ask about them. You can say how how is Chomzy, how is Shakes, how is Groovy, how is Fina, but don't tell me where is. Don't ask me questions like that. You should go and check your dictionary to know what rude is because saying something that about like that displeases me. Isn't me being rude? It's me being vocal. So if you don't like it, you can leave my life. I'll block you. Seriously, I'm, whenever I log in and to all these housemates live video, I'll just be reading their comments. Some persons will be throwing insult at them. Some persons will come and be asking questions. How will you come to somebody's life and you're asking the person to show you another housemate? Do you even know if they're in the same space with that person? Even if they're in the same space. Go and tell that your faith to come on live. Tell your faith to come live so that you see her. Bella is on, on live. You're asking her where is Fina and Groovy. Please show us Fina and Groovy. Hey, that's very disrespectful. 
to be honest it's not making any sense at all just this this afternoon as i'm speaking now i went on hermes life just look at what somebody said somebody said please i take god beg you show shakes and bella can you imagine <laughs> somebody even said where is bella and shake is hermes bella and shakes guardian i don't understand you can ask how is you know how is this housemaid doing but asking where is show us is actually very disrespectful if you are the one that is on that life you will not like it okay and bella saying that if people don't mind all this thing that she's going to block that person some persons are calling her rude again or that she's rude blah 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 she had already even said it in the video if you like call her rude or not but she just have to say the truth she will not because she's she's she has some fans and keep quiet whenever there's something to talk about and i love somebody's response somebody said one thing i love about bella is she will always speak her mind she doesn't pretend she says it the way it is not like this other housemates who are being controlled by their fans block all of them baby it's your page if you want to block them block them for your sanity if you have to like hide the comments do it you will come person life they ask about another person why did you not come to the person life in the first place it's just uncalled for and amaka said something again concerning her friend beauty see if you call beauty disqualified housemate again i'm going to block you don't try me if i blow you from the phone yes yeah, so <laughs> We all know that beauty was disqualified. I don't see any reason why you come on another person's page, uh, live to come and call beauty disqualified. We know that already. So why you keep, why do you keep like driving and keep saying and saying it? Amaka don't tell. If you don't stop, she's going to fight you. <laughs> I love the fact that she's really standing up for her friend. Like I really love that a lot. Baby Nigeria fans, eh, on a day toxic to be honest. Yes, I know not everybody, but most part of fan base is just too much. It's too much. They control, like, they want to have control literally over all this housemate life. But it's not possible. You're an adult, too. So nobody, they control your life. So why do you want to control another person's life? It doesn't make any sense. Not even one bit. And I love the fact that some of these housemates, like, they're speaking up. They know they chill or act as if they are not seeing what you guys are doing they are saying it and i love their response so moving on today is ebuka's wife's birthday our favorite ebuka of the bb niger today is our wife's birthday ah uh -uh. this love is love you know is the tongue for me is the tongue for me <laughs> And Ebuka wrote something, something special and said, The past year was a bit of a roller coaster for you. But the one thing I learned is that you are way tougher than you even imagine. Such a dope chick. Ooh. Now, I'm loving the positive vibe you are going into this new year with. Beside the fact that the glow is about to be even more blinding. Yes, so I can't imagine all the blessings that lies ahead. If life with you has been this amazing already, happy birthday, Onye Nkemo. Thanks for showing me what true kindness, loyalty, and selfless love actually looks like. You are a shining star, and I love all of you. Hmm. Omo, Ebuka's wife is such a beautiful woman. She's beautiful, and I love the smile. The face is giving, oh my, is this tongue for me? This tongue is giving me everything and more. Happy birthday, mom. I wish you more life. I wish you more blessing. And beauty, our baby girl, appreciated her. Say happy birthday, mama. Love you. Okay? I'm so happy. So, guys, speaking about fans now. And how some fans would like to be controlling and disrespectful. Fina came on live and some persons were actually throwing shade and insult as, at her. And she responded. So just listen to what she had to say. Uh, coming on my live to cap nonsense. 
Maybe that's not a seal now, but bro, if you know you are a bastard and you don't like me and you're on my life, bro, f bitch, f bitch. Mm. and I will continue to say it and I'll say it again. If you say you hate me, if you say you don't like me, but bro, the fact that I'm saying this in Cape Town right now is really giving me joy. I'm not saying it in Nigeria, I'm saying it in Cape Town. You're roasting in Nigeria right now. Yeah, son, they kill you for Nigeria right now. If you never chop right now, but bro, I did Cape Town chopping live and I put it to you. You are a bastard. So guys, what do you have to say about this? There have been a lot of comments saying that Fina is being disrespectful to Nigeria. That she has the right to actually, you know, speak back at those insulting her on a live video, but she's somehow insulting Nigeria and all of that. A lot of persons just have comments, a lot of persons have things to say. Someone said, evidence of I just enter plane, fly out for <clears throat> the first time wearing same Nigeria where you go see enter. Plus your farms are down there roasting. And so on, they beat them too for the Nigeria paint. So, pig just had, just had to go one side, go bust out the anger. He they sweet us. Another person said, "It's funny how you always try to make Fina look bad, whenever she tries to defend herself from trolls. Post the one your fave, call that donkey. He will not, cause she's the only pay." She, you will not cause she only pay you to make her look good in public. We all know her tricks and fake lifestyle. Blog guys, son. Guys, it's funny. There's something I'm hearing. Okay, before I respond to that, let me read another comment. Somebody said, honestly, do you think it is good for people to leave, to come to her life to insult her? Please, let us be guided with all due respect. Another person said, shame to those trolling her, but please, Nigeria, stop putting down your own country. And speaking of this, somebody said that beauty is actually like paying some persons, you know, to put her on the spotlight. What do you have to say concerning that? Like, I've actually heard a lot of things, though. Some person said, um beauty is actually broke that all the things she's saying all the life she's living all the luxury life she's living that everything is fake now these same people with us say she they live fake life they talk say she don't they pay some bloggers to make her look good in public can you imagine really <laughs> oh god you know get with and no go here and Back to Fina's life. What do you think, guys? To be honest, I think it's just very, very disrespectful to come to somebody's life and you come to insult them. If you know you don't like the person, why tune in? Why come to the person's life in the first place? It doesn't make any sense at all. At all. At all, at all. And another thing, my reaction also concerning what Fina said. Yes, Fina has the right to talk back to those that are trolling her and saying all manner of stuff to her. But mentioning Nigeria, like you are in Nigeria roasting and all of those kind of things, it's somehow like you can just, you can troll the person, but you can say things about those people trolling you, but not bringing your country into it. Because people will always misunderstand that point. Okay? So guys, thank you so much for watching. Just share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about these fans having things to say? And what do you think about housemates, ex-housemates reacting to what some fans are doing to them? Alright? Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one.